last part, materiality and value. What I'm going to do in these, this short presentation and these few slides is just to start to question the notion of value. What firms value and how they are seemingly to derive value in our financialized economy. But before we get into the nitty gritty of that, let's just have a quick recap. We'll be well aware that GDP growth globally on an annual basis is uh, its percentage change is small. Since the declines of the 2008-2009 global financial crisis and recovery is that the economy has not reached the kind of growth rates that it was experiencing prior to the global financial crisis. And from 2010 onwards, growth rates have flattened out and um, the business cycle, if you like, has become quite slow, slothful. Moribund is a word I've used. Um, and what with COVID coming along in 2020 is that growth rates for the future look quite flat as well. However, the stock markets are booming. What are the stock markets valuing exactly? Now we are aware that stock, that shareholders, and you'll be aware that managers are competing in stock markets for shareholder value on the basis of share price. So firms are competing to return the maximum amount of value back to their shareholders. And it is the tech companies, the FANG companies, plus Microsoft, that have delivered the highest levels of value. If you remember, in the earlier presentation, over 50% of shareholder growth or share value growth has come as a consequence of the big six tech companies. Let's consider this. These are last year's figures. But ranking by market cap, the five largest companies by market capitalization, share price times by the number of shares, are Microsoft, Apple, Amazon, Alphabet, Google, in other words, and Facebook. However, the five largest companies by revenue are Walmart, ExxonMobil, Berkshire Hathaway, Apple again, and United Health Group. There's a significant difference between the two sets. So one of the things that we might be able to infer from this is that value is less than material. Let's look at brands and who's got the largest brand. I took these figures in 2017 and they probably need to be upgraded. Um, my guess is that who have we got that Facebook would likely to appear in this, this particular grouping now and AT&T um, possibly not. But the five biggest tech brands are Google, Apple, Amazon, AT&T and Microsoft. And for the most part, year on year, the value of the brand is growing. And that has led branding agencies to suggest that it is the brand that delivers the highest levels of growth. And here in this chart is that they've compared the growth of share price of the highest branded corporations and a world index of share price growth. Now this begs the question, doesn't it? Are we looking at a halo here? Just by actually comparing the, the, char the, the charts, the various lines, should we infer causality from this? The big shares or the big companies with the biggest brands have outperformed the markets. But is that as a consequence of the fact that they have a brand or is it as a consequence of shareholder value maximization policies or is it as a consequence of the fact that they are the shiny tech companies the narratives that are driving the value in other words 
The investments in intangible assets have grown considerably and there was a tipping point in 1990s, mid 1990s, where investments in intangible assets actually outgrew investments in tangible assets. In other words, firms are investing more money in, the, uh, in their intangible assets like brands than they are in the productive capacity of their businesses. Let's just go back to the actual brands themselves for a minute. In 2017, Google's brand was worth over, Google's brand is worth over a hundred billion dollars. Yep, that's a hundred billion dollars. That is a considerable amount of money. But why? What is it exactly? What is it about Google's brand that makes it worth a hundred billion dollars? And the others are there or thereabouts. Now, there's an argument to suggest here that what's occurring is that in wrapping up the brand and turning it into something attractive and sexy, and building in it behind it a narrative attributes it attributes that kind of value. But really, what is the brand? It's a totally immaterial value of the firm or asset of the firm. But it's not touchable or holdable and as it doesn't do anything what makes it worth a hundred billion dollars but in a financialized economy the value of the brand doesn't equate to the amount of money that's been invested into it value is added the value is more than the amount of money that's been invested into it but let's look at this chart here who is doing the branding who is doing the valuing it's a branding agency Rather like managers competing in the market for share price, are managers competing in a different kind of market for brand because it adds value and assets to the value, it adds value and assets to the company itself. So kind of like a virtuous circle in many respects here, isn't it? It's a bit like the, um, the ratings agencies rating mortgage-backed securities at the time of the global financial crisis. In whose interest is it to value the brand? And whilst the businesses, the value of the businesses escalates, and the value of intangible assets escalates too, productive capacity of firms is steadily declining. And is that as a consequence, the fact that we are not investing in the productive capacity of our firms? As you can see from this chart, there was a peak in productive growth in 1920 to 1970, followed by decline, slight growth. But in 2004 to 2014, we've got the lowest growth in productivity that, that we've seen, this is in the US, that, that's been experienced. Well, that's not a surprise, is it? If what we're doing is that we're investing in the intangible assets of the business, which will have a detrimental impact upon the long-term health of the firms. It is in effect, it's the, the, the firms are engaging in creating their narrative themselves in order to drive up share price, or at least that's one interpretation. But it's my interpretation.